Okay, just another Wednesday night, huh? Well, I guess we'll find out. Good evening. Oh, always love the music. Try to make it different every time. Um, although, I'm sure sooner or later I'm gonna run out of that because it is limited. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another live stream of Tales of Hell, the Aftermath Chronicles uh, post production. And what can I say? Um, well, I'll just put it this way um, as far as uh, episode two is coming around, I have been working on it, but not as much as I like. Uh, this past week um, has been a little bit busy, um, so it's um, it's been a challenge. But hopefully, these next two weeks, be able to catch up, um, be able to get something out soon. And you can see here that uh, this looks this looks uh, oh. Okay. No, um, I'm going to mention something. I won't be able to post anything. Well, I'll, I'll post his, his Instagram account. Um, but I found someone on Instagram. If you're not on Instagram um, and you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link below. Go on Instagram. Join us because there's a lot of uh, pre-production uh, stuff happening. And if you're live with us on Twitch and uh, want to check us out on Instagram... Uh, go to con um, find Conductor Productions, one word, um, and you should find our Instagram account. I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. It, it's like, and I always am, and, and so the brain doesn't function halfway. But anyway, I set out to say this. I found an interesting uh, uh, person, inter interesting account on Instagram. Uh, this person has liked my particular stuff, and I've liked their stuff because they do photography of HeroScape figures. And it's very close to what I currently do in production. And hold on one second. Burp. Okay. Um, and uh, on Instagram, uh, this person's known as Custom Heroscape. Um, and a uh, very friendly person. I, I pay them a compliment. I, I send them a direct message and just saying, hey, you know, I think your stuff is great. You know, it's not often we see or I, I, I see someone and this professional professional level doing something with miniatures um, like I do. Um, so I'm like, props to you and, uh, you know, uh, keep up the good work. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's it about this person. Just wanted to give that person a shout out. Um, and uh, I will. Uh, yeah. Um, and I believe. Uh, this uh, this person's name is Jeremy, actually, and I'll just post his uh, his Instagram and other additional information below, so anybody watching can uh, give this uh, give this fellow some props. You know, why not? Why not? I I, I mean I I want uh, HeroScape to get out there, you know, and uh, like, what's it HeroScape content to get out there, other than just game playing. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, props, props to him for this week. I don't know. I might do hero skate props, um, or filmmaking props, or something like that every week. I don't know. That might become a thing. But anyway, it's a thing this week, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, listen, listen to the information below, just because you know something I was impressed with. So, yay. Okay. Anyway, all right. Moving on. This live stream. Um, all one of you watching. Thanks for joining us. My name is Ryan. Producer of Tales of the Hell of the Aftermath Chronicles. Uh, it is a stop motion here escape adventure, and season one is already on YouTube, and we are starting to get season two out 
the episode one for season one is out. An explosive beginning to uh, the second season of Tales of Ahala. Up again. Okay. And um, right now, I'm middle I'm middle of a uh, production of episode two, of season two, and. If anybody was here and watched the live stream from last week, um, you can kind of see that we're right where we left off. <laughs> um, this was this was the arrow that I spent like 15 minutes on trying to figure out. Okay, um, how do I get rid of this uh, white area here and just to leave the arrow behind? At first, I thought it was had to do with the blend mode because that worked with me before, but apparently that's not the case. I actually went on the forums of Hit Film. Or called FX Home, um, and I got upgraded to Hit Film Pro 13 this week. Yay! So more more toys to play with inside this editing software. Um, but uh, and it was recommended me to do something else, which I'm going to show you. Right? Yeah. Boom. See there you go. That's what we want. That is what we want. We want. Turn this music down in my headphones for a minute, um, so I can hear myself talk. Um, this is what we want. We want the arrow and no surrounding white area. And the arrow's going to move really fast, so it doesn't really matter how like uh, clear it is. Uh, we just we just want something pointy, and it's it's an orc arrow, so it's going to be kind of rough anyway. So and you're going to ask yourself, well, how did I do that? Well, someone recommend Luminance Key. And then key out brighter. And I, I I messed with the threshold intolerance a little bit just to try and get this as uh, visible as possible without losing like the image, yet not having so much white around it. So yeah, that is that, and that's how you do that with a uh, photograph of arrows or anything surrounded anything by white apparently. So, and that's what I'll go. That's what I'll go with in the future, because there'll be other arrows being used sometimes. Um, TOV. It's just not all guns. It's a lot of medieval mystical stuff. So, um, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Okay. So anyway, so we're gonna have fun with some arrows tonight. Arrows flying. Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do what we were supposed to do last week with this shot and get it started. So why don't we do that? Okay. So you can see here we need to have this arrow was by right when the lieutenant then goes like that, like it's gonna pass by him, then he goes boom. So let us just begin right here. This. And this should be very, very simple to do. <laughs> Again, did not test this beforehand, so we're just going as is. Because, I mean, right now with these special effects, I'm just doing special effects when I'm live streaming. Right now I'm just working on all the audio stuff, and that's the voiceovers, that's all sound effects and music. And that usually is what takes the most amount of time. I have already all... You know, I already have everything else edited, like the video parts edited, but it's the audio that's the big time killer. Anyway, okay, so but the special effects are more fun to look at. Audio is just boring because it's just me listening to the same audio file again and again and again. That's not good content for live streaming. I might do it sometimes, but not today. All right, so here's how we're going to do this. Oh, yeah. So there's this, so uh, for four position. Okay. I'm just gonna move this arrow. Well first I need to make sure it needs to be like practically whiz by his chin. And I'd say in proportion to Lieutenant Dan. I, I, I'd say I. Oops. Don't want to do that. 
I'd say it's fine. Come on, you stay here. Okay, so we're going to bring this arrow back. And then it is going to whiz by his face practically. So we'll wait until... Oh, by the way, I know how one of you is watching this live stream, but feel free. Any questions, comments, cares, concerns, worries, mention them in the comments section because... Um, or the live chat in, in uh, Twitch or if you're watching this on YouTube for some odd reason, go ahead and leave a comment below. Any questions? I'm happy to answer questions or respond to comments or whatever. Always like the comments from people. Okay. So let's say let's have it there and just see how that reaction time is. All right. So now we are gonna move this arrow. Where you go? Come here, arrow. Yep, you're right there. All right. So now, just to see how that is, we're just going to pre-render it. Hmm. Let's just see. Uh, just <laughs> um, it's almost. It needs to go a little bit faster, I think. Let's see. So. Let me move this one a little bit forward. And another pre render. And let's see. Uh, let's save my file too. Yeah, I think that's better. <laughs> uh, get it whiz by, boom. I think so. Now, one thing I'm going to do also to give this arrow. little bit of solidity is I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to give this a different color, just tomato, and the main one, the green color, all right, just because, all right, so now we got two arrows going at the same time, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to here. First I need I'm going to give it a little bit of rotation, so first I need to see it. Alright, 
we're gonna zoom in on it. Now I'll show you what I mean. Okay, right now it just looks very, I mean I have it in a 3D setting, but it looks very, still very 2D. And if you see it up close, that's why, I mean, these arrows are gonna go fast, so they're not gonna be a huge deal for, well, none of you watching now. Um, I mean, it's not going to be a huge deal whiz and by, but I want to just give it a little bit more life like it's like it's here in the shot. So, um, one thing I can do is this. Take this, and I'm just gonna turn this on its side. And now, because I do that, do you notice? Now it makes it look like there's four feathers instead of two on there. I'm not exactly sure what I moved to do that. Hold on. Okay, yeah, it was orientation, so that's fine. See? Okay, see? Just like make it look like a pop of another feather out. So now the arrow looks a little bit more solid. And just give it a little bit more life. Pre-render it. Boom. What do you think about that? I think it looks just fine. Nice. And there's going to be a punchline at the end of this too. But yeah, yeah the arrow was in by... thing too I could do which I'll probably put in later is make another copy and just have the shadow of an arrow passing through get even more but I'll work on that later um, right now I'm just gonna go hit another thing to where there's actually orcs <laughs> Composite shot of uh, 
So let's see, most of the voiceovers are done. They're, they are in their spot. And there are some works, so... Let us have these orc archers fire some arrows, shall we? So we're going to make a composite shot. And I think we'll make this one... Let's see, how many composite shots do I have? Oh, I'll just say it's number seven. Okay, composite shot number seven. Do the 3D plane thing. And. shot and I'm going to take what I already did and just copy and paste it. So one thing I love about HitFilm is that you can just paste on the stuff and boom, it's already there. Now, what I gotta do, the only thing I gotta do is uh, just to change uh, the distance. So, I'm gonna make a few changes and we'll do that. Go back first, and what I'll probably do is um, take out that one. But we'll see. All right, first, let's go to transform. Okay. And first, we gotta find a spot where. Uh huh. There it is. Okay. So where this orc is moving, and. Probably there is where the arrow will come out. So, now first thing we'll do with this arrow is be moving over here at the starting point. So, I've got to go get it. And as you can see, a bit too big right now, so we gotta shrink this down a little bit. Excuse me. Burping again. Alright. And let's see, in the destination too, I'll have to change, but first, we're just gonna start with arrow right here and what I plan to do is I'm going to create a mask around this character so you won't be able to see the arrow it looks like the arrow is just coming out from the arrow or from from the bow oops what happened Okay, um, well hopefully that's the reason probably why I lost viewers, because when everything can go wrong, it will go wrong. Um, hopefully it was recording the whole time. I'll have to double check <laughs> when I post this on YouTube. Um, but it looked like there was an error or something encoding the video. I mean, it looks okay now. <sighs> it's like nothing can ever go right. Never, never, never. Okay, anyway. So if you hadn't seen anything in the past, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes? Good grief. Um, we are 
now <laughs> trying to fit an arrow in with work. Why can't everything anything go right? Good grief in Twitch. I, I Twitch is getting really annoying with uh, whatever. I mean, this live stream thing should be simple, but here I am ranting about just stuff. Okay. And being tired doesn't help either. All right. So Okay, what was I doing? All right. I was trying to work on this. Okay. So that arrow's there. Gonna mask it out later. And I have to point this down because it's not really pointed up. It's gonna the arrow's gonna be going out that way. So just move this here, and we are just going to point you down. So that's one arrow. And let's just... And hopefully by like next Wednesday, I'll be able to show you guys like just arrows being firing from the sky. And okay, got the one viewer back. I'm hopefully... Now, I just want to ask whoever is watching at the moment, were you watching before and did my video feed like leave? Because it said there was an error in the video upload. And I just refreshed my page and then the video came back. I mean, I was still live streaming, but I don't think there was video happening. Um, if you can let me know if if there was video or not, um, like about 10, 15 minutes ago, I would appreciate it. Because um, sometimes it's hard to tell for me what's going on on the other end while doing this live stream and editing. Uh, if it's possible, that would be great. Um, just for future reference, um, because I, I don't know what type of error it happened in the up, uh, uh, like uploading or for, for the upstream. So so if you're watching, um, and you're probably watching a commercial before even watching me, so I'll repeat the question. Um, it seemed like 10, 15 minutes ago there was an error in uh, the video uplink upload. Um, I just want to know if um, that's the reason why... Um, uh, there were viewers leaving uh, the live stream um, because there was no video or no video was, was going on um, or was the, is the video been going on the, the whole time uh, someone can let me know that would be great thank you okay technical difficulties aside okay this is okay so let us pre-render this You know, the fun part should just be editing this and showing the results, but no, of course not. I have to worry about technical difficulties, too. Okay. So, let's clear that out of the way. And like I said, this arrow image will disappear because I plan to do a mask. And I'll probably, I'll probably, probably won't be, won't be one of the last things I do. Mm hmm. So already, I see that we need to kind of, let's see here. okay, he moves there, so that's when the arrow needs to come out, is at that moment, moment when this orc is moving, so. Let's just put it there. Oh, wait a second. That's how I did it. Okay. So I'm bringing both together. Alright. And boom. Alright. Let's see if that worked. Alright. I think so. <laughs> Looks pretty nice. And like I did with the other arrow from the other shot, 
I am just going to do, I'm going to make a copy of this. And this other arrow, I'm actually going to use in a different shot. That's fine, but I'm going to make a duplicate of this. And then you have two arrows moving at the same time here, but I'm going to go close on this one and go to, I think it's a scale part, let's see, nope, was it orientation, ah yes, oh, wait a second, is that too big? Should be good. All right. So let's go with this. Now, is it just me, or should this arrow? No, no, it's fine. Okay. So there we go. Now we're gonna give it that 3D. really messing it up a bit. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here and do this this way. There, that's better. Alright, so now it looks like it has four feathers rather than just two. Simple way to turn something 2D to 3D very simply easily. Alright, Render. Save and nice. Okay, now let me see if I can do some masks here. This might take some tinkering, but Just going to take the masking tool. Let's see what this does. All right. Now we gotta make. We're gonna hug this kind of close to the arrow. doesn't have to be, like, what's important is here. Oops. What's important is here. Yep. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fine. Just add a feather. Yeah, the rest of this isn't as important. But I do have to... Move this around the arrow. Okay, go back to this. So that... Make sure that arrow is gone. we need to be. Alright, so now what I need to do is huh. 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 
So class, what do you think I should be doing? Hmm? More than likely I need to duplicate this. This is what I probably need to do. <laughs> Alright. Or maybe... Hold on. Maybe just invert this. Nope. It's okay, I'll figure it. One of the buttons I'll hit <laughs> will be the right one to get this done. Alright, so here, turn this mask off. And now we are just worried about this mask. I will figure it out. Look, no one, I never said I was an expert compositor here. I just gotta wait until I find the right combination to make this thing disappear. Okay, I'm probably doing something wrong. Hold on. Or maybe what needs to happen is this needs to move up here. Maybe. Although I still see like some arrow there. I'll get that. piece of air? Yeah. Okay, what is going on here? <sighs> nothing can ever go right. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't get... Okay, this might turn a 45 minute show into an hour long show of me just figuring out something that should be simple, of course, is not. Um, hold on. doesn't it block that one out? Hmm. 
I'm stumped. Well, I mean, what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to do is the mask should completely take this out. So, okay, here, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and redo this. All right, so for this, just go away, delete. And so we're gonna make a duplicate of this. I think because this is jutting out in 3D space, but it shouldn't matter. Ah, it's annoying. Unless I just make that 2D. simple thing. This should be a simple thing, and it's becoming more and more complicated now. Or maybe I should just have them both 2D in the first place. But then again, it shouldn't matter. This should just overlap the thing. I think you can see guys what happened. I mean, I know what the problem is for this, but at the same time, I don't know why the mask doesn't, like, remove this. Okay, one hurdle at a time. So, I'm going to try to create a mask here. top space and no. No, it's, it's not like this isn't the first time I've done this I've done like this type of thing before it's been a while but I might have to re-go back and, and relearn things. But, I mean, this is something that should... Okay, there's the full arrow. Okay, well at least that is good now when I do this. Okay, good. Now I just gotta figure out how to make that 3D space not a 3D space. And I think what I'll have to do, so, okay, so, at least I got that part figured out. And see, it should be that simple too, masking something out. <laughs> I'm just making things more complicated than what they are. Excuse me a moment. I'm burping again. Okay, so um, I leave you all then with yeah, uh, my audio.
Okay, that was on. Okay, I'll just leave you all with another thing to make you go, hmm, what to do? Although, I, I think I already know what the solution is, but see, as you can see, I created a mask here. Boop. Oh, I'm not going to see it, but... Anyway. Mask there. So that way, the arrow... Which shouldn't be visible, although since this is a 3D, I turned into a 3D image in a 3D space. So when I went to kind of 3Dize it, and what I might what I might have to do is just return these into a 2D image and then just redo the shot, which I'm not going to spend time here doing. I'll do it later. Um, but so the arrow's sitting there, and it should all be masked out. Should be, and then it'll just come popping out of the bow. And that's the shot. And that is what I'll do with these other orcs as well, if they're supposed to be sh shooting at arrows. And, and they should. And so that way, arrows will start raining down on good guys. So yeah. So at least we got something accomplished and figure some things out. At least the arrows are now transparent and um, be able to get more on here. And probably next week we'll work on more gunfire effects, possibly grenade explosions. I'll show you the end result of uh, what these arrows look like uh, by next week as well. And be closer to finishing episode 2 of season 2. Get it out on YouTube to continue with this series of Tales of the the Aftermath Chronicles. Thank you for everybody watching. Sorry for, like, all this confusion. <laughs> Me learning as I go. Maybe I should, like, pre-plan some of these editing things, especially, but the ones that I should know, I should know. It doesn't happen that way usually, though. But, uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you're on Twitch, go to our YouTube page. Uh, Watch us on YouTube. I've said lots of lots of stop motion content on there of the series already. Just go to the YouTube search bar, hit Tales of Ahala, and you'll find us. And if you're on YouTube, come here on Twitch. Watch us every Wednesday around nine o'clock Eastern time, or nine p.m. Eastern time. And uh, that's every Wednesday. Uh, either like. Me, me blundering through uh, editing special effects or uh, some type of uh, production, post-production thing, or um, sometimes live streaming the episodes themselves before they release on YouTube, um, premiering them. So, um, you never know what's going to happen, but next week for sure, we'll be doing more editing. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next week. Later. And just save that.